Masters champion still dressed from around the golf today. <laughs> yeah, it's always look good. Good to see both money. I mean, you got the cowards, Grant Hill and Greg Anthony down in the NBA TV studio. They scared of the Black Masters. Cowards. Uh, hey, it's Miller time. Hey. Presented by Miller Lite. And here he is, hey. Reggie Miller. How are you? Yeah, I'm going good, brother. Good, good to, to see you, man. You get that address, brother? Huh? What is that, my uh, friend? Uh, you can't do a Miller Lite commercial. I sent Chuck no Miller Lite. <laughs> you didn't get it? Uh, no, I didn't. Oh, I sent it to Phoenix, right? Okay, okay, all right. Yeah. What's, okay, what's the key to Game Two here as we uh, as we go into Miller time? How how is Minnesota going to even this series tonight? You know, I, there could be a knee jerk reaction. Think about this, Draymond. It's a one possession game at the end of the day. You had Minnesota who was up five with four minutes left in the ball game. You out shoot them from three, right? And the thing that was a plus for Dallas was them ability to attack the paint, right? Kyrie got them off to a great start, which was rare for him in these playoffs, right? Usually it's Luka and then Kyrie's the finisher. And then it was Luka in the fourth quarter, 15 of his 33. So they're gonna have to do a better job on those two. And more importantly, that drop coverage. I know you guys were all over that yeah. in post game, that drop coverage. They are going to have to show, and that's more so Rudy Gobert, because he is not comfortable in this position. Here's that high screen and roll. Right now, Jaden McDaniels is in jail, right? Because he's on the backside of Luka. You come off high, he wants to get him on the backside, and here, how about the Euro step by the rookie, Derek Lively, right? So here they switch it, right? But now they want to come back and double Luka. See, Kyle Anderson is on the island. He's looking for help. And then there's, there's the brilliant passing of Luka finding the big. Hey, Ram, you know what? I, I agree with you, but I think it's different in this regard. I thought it was the help was coming too early from the perimeter on Luka and then what you call it. Because if you look at the stats, they were plus 10 when Rudy was on the floor. Right. So meaning for people at home, they were 10 points better when Rudy's on the floor. So it wasn't as much the drop coverage as coming too early and giving up dunks. So for me, I would say make them, as Draymond had a great phrase that I guess they use it in, in Golden State, make them make tough twos. Mm -hmm. And they didn't allow Luka to make tough twos. They made them tough threes and then gave them easy dimes at the yeah, basket. Yeah, but the problem with your point, Kenny, is the males. That, 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 Y'all talk about one aspect. The Mavs missed all them threes. That's what... Like, they didn't shoot a lot of threes as well. Minnesota wants to take away those corner threes from Dallas, right? Well, well, well they can't do it with that with them two big guys. I've always said that it, uh, the Wolves got to go small because Rudy's always got to drop. Cat got a chance. But if they're going to play those two big guys together, Kyrie and Luka going to get those guys wide open threes. And they're not going to go six for 29. You know, because I would set the, if I was the Mavs, I would just set the pick with a three-point shooter and get wide open threes all night long. That They're going to have to go small mm -hmm. with Nas Reed because you cannot, I've always said this about, about the Wolves, man, when they play against a good three-point shooting contest, they can't play those two guys. That's been my biggest criticism of them. And also, uh, Cat does not play like a big guy. He wants to stand out there and shoot threes like he's Steph Curry. Reggie, you've been a great player your whole career. With your aunt, you go six for 16, and you know much of the offense is relied on how you play. What are you thinking about as a player? You have home court advantage. I play terrible. I go six for 16. We lose by a few points. As a guy that's you know carried much of the load offensively, what do you think about as a player? All oh, y'all have great points. You come into game one. You're coming off an emotional game setting. You just knocked off the defending champs in their building, right? He didn't come out with the right energy and effort, right? And this crowd needed to feed off his energy. I expect a better game by Ant-Man tonight because he was gassed. I said this numerous times in game one. Him calling out Kyrie, which, by the way, I love that, Draymond. Absolutely. Defensive player of the year. I'll take a dude that wants to take on that challenge. I think tonight one of those keys will be him being less on Kyrie. Instead of 40 minutes for, for Kyrie, maybe guard him 30. 33. Those other 10. You know, go out there and guard someone else so he can rest a little bit. I, I definitely agree with that. Um, and I agree with some of the points you made. Where I disagree is you said it's a knee-jerk reaction. And the reason I don't think it's a knee-jerk reaction, because they did outplay them in all those areas. They shot the ball yeah. better. Right? They did all those things better. And, and Dallas didn't shoot the ball well. 
they're going to shoot the ball better, I think. But what they did was Dallas just stuck around. Mm -hmm. And when you allow a team to stick around, especially when they got two closers like they have, right. you get them a chance to win the game. And I didn't see Minnesota with the ability to put that team away. Now, Dallas, I didn't, I, I didn't think they played very well at all, aside from the three-point shooting. I think they could have did a lot of things better. And that, for me, is what worries me if I'm Minnesota. Because and that, Dallas can and, play a lot better. And that was the message we just spoke with Jason Kidd. He's like, we want to hang around here in game two. We've got two closers, not one. We've got two closers. All the pressure will be on them because they don't want to leave this building being down love too. I have a question for Reggie. I, I remember one time you told me that at the end of the regular season, you used to take more shots like the last 10 games to, because you knew in the playoffs you would have to take more shots in, in the closing moments. How do you approach this game and that? Do you come out and you let it come to you? Or from door, you're coming out fire. He should have came from the parking lot with about seven attempts already. He's got to shoot 25 times a night. And more importantly, if you watch that Denver season, those two wins, those first two wins in Denver, he was attacking the paint every single time. 12 of his, or nine of his 16 shots were all three. He was too tired. He was settling. Hey, you got to attack the paint. Hey, let me tell you something. You know my man, Paul Silas. Yes. You got to head too. What, you know, everybody said, Ant's got to come out and be more aggressive. Kyrie came out, and I don't think he ever recovered from the standing eight count. So for me, like, he did. Kyrie came out and popped him in the head a couple times, and he was just like, oh, man, other guy got a head, too. Right. So for me, it's going to be interesting if Kyrie come out with the same aggression. That's what I'm going to be looking for. Because he shot more. That was his uh, most points and a half for the Mavs. Think about year. that. Yeah, totally flipped the, the script. Out. Yeah, totally flipped the script on what we for see good reason. Do we see that again tonight? Do we see an aggressive Kyrie, or is he going to feel it out as he has in the past and said, now's the time? to go look all these guys are great players hall of fame players he accepted the challenge when a dude is is calling you out after a huge game seven you're at home chilling saying why am i being dragged into this you've got to respond and that's what Kyrie did but i expect luca to have a better start remember he got pulled early in that game jason kidd says he wasn't doing anything right it was the Kyrie irving show in that first quarter of game one luca will play better but i think anthony edwards 25 plus shots tonight and he puts his team on his back but i also think that dallas is mature enough to say you know what we got game one let's not be happy right let's not rest on our laurels let's go out and get this game we know we can beat these guys we know we can score dallas has that experience and they know that they don't want to get this team in life i expect dallas to come out super aggressive Dred i think they got to yeah reg i don't know how many games you dallas games you did early in the year before the trade deadline but this starting line this luca and Kyrie. Gafford, P.J. Washington, Derrick Jones, 15 and one, All right. and now nine wins in the postseason. Why were they? Why have they been able to mesh so quickly and so effectively? Think about this. Now they've had two weapons for Kyrie and Luka. Having those twin towers and, and Lively and Gafford has added another dimension. Because now when you get playing downhill, now when the big comes or he stays back. Just throw it to case in point right here. He's probably the best law passer on the two on one situation for Golden State. Now you've got two guys who are willing to throw the ball up and two guys that can finish. It's been beautiful. Yeah, speaking of Golden State, speaking of Golden State, Stan, your partner. Steph Curry and Klay Thompson is the best backcourt ever. Ever. Okay, we're not saying no, no, no. Luke you're and Kyrie. You're getting no. Stan, Steph Curry and Klay Thompson. No, they're not ever. saying best, best backcourt ever. No, he didn't ever. say For best sure. ever. He's saying. Yes, he did. No, he, yes, he did. No, he said. No, we got the tape. Two no. guards that could go and get it on their own. Can you name another two guards? And we that, said, no, 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 no. He said it was the best. Yes, Steph. Are you saying Klay? You just throw the ball in there. Wait, on the level of Kyrie and on the level of Luca. You can throw the ball. He's 16, 11 dribble. Come on, man! Stop that, it! Stop it, Reggie. Stan has got a—he's got a point, man. No, 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 no. Kenny, you just tried to put yourself just along with like somebody else. <laughs> <laughs> We're not here with this, Kenny. 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 You just said you and Sam. This is crazy. Sam <laughs> <laughs> could go get it. And then not not the stuff Kirby and Clay Thompson. We said it, Reggie. No, no, no. We hey, we hey. I love you, EJ. People, man. Have a great time. LeBron Jackson over here in the San Marcelo. For sure. In a heartbeat.